What's up my friends? Robert here. The digging is on. This is the second day. Yesterday I dug up this, uh, this pepper bush over here and today I uh, dragged it over there into the pile next to the fence. Next to the fence. So this front area here, this... Can you hear the birds? <laughs> Exotic birds. The neighbors. Parrots and stuff. So this is the entrance over here and the first like 30 to 50 feet here this is going to be an area for uh, for mulch and uh, you know compost organic matter whatever organic matter I can get my hands on logs bushes branches mulch horse manure leftover from farms everything goes in here huge piles this is in a year in a year you're gonna see a mountain here it's gonna be like 50 feet high maybe maybe even higher you're gonna keep piling it up but I cannot really go 50 with the back hole but probably like 30 anyways this is the one of the bushes here and I dug up uh, this other big uh, huge bush too these are all Brazilian peppers you have to get rid of them by the law they are invasive species so you cannot have them on your property. You need to dig them up or cut them down and poison the roots. So I'd rather dig them up and let them uh, break down and become uh, uh, compost. So, so yeah, this is my practice digging up bushes. And I actually started to dig over there next to the fence. Started to dig, uh, dig the ditches oh man it goes pretty slow and I'm still learning to use the controls and I have a little bit of problem with the with the power shuttle I can't seem to find the, the neutral uh, position so it goes it goes back and forward fine let me show you what I'm talking about here i show you what I did so far first before my battery dies I don't know, so I started over here and I'm uh, I don't have a plan yet but I think I'm gonna draw one up just to see how it's gonna look but I'm thinking of uh, doing like at least six seven feet wide trenches so I can uh, I can uh, get by with my tractor and uh, I would go about three feet uh, deep. You see the trenches I had before? These are pretty shallow, they are like one feet deep. But do you see how the, the grass is uh, green and, and, um, and small and, uh, and there's no weeds and if you look on both sides of the ditch there's a bunch of uh, tall grass and, and weeds and stuff so the the idea is to uh, to go a little bit deeper for even more more uh, moisture and more protection and uh, and yeah plant all the annuals in in the ditch in the ditches so yeah I figured six seven feet wide ditches and then I uh, use the dirt to mound up uh, the other side go at least uh, three feet three feet above uh, above ground level and plant all the fruit trees there except of bananas which can take standing water so I'm gonna have like uh, an eight, eight to ten feet wide mound then an eight feet uh, wide ditch and so on and so forth so just mounds and ditches maybe I'll go a bit deeper Maybe I'll go, I don't want to m go much deeper than three feet because uh, it's going to be a little bit uh, inconvenient to, to harvest I think so between two and three feet I think it's uh, enough if it's not enough I can still dig, uh, dig some more next year so I'm going to stick with two, three feet deep for now seven feet wide and the mounds six feet wide maybe 
All right, so I have the this lever here for the power shuttle. This is the reverse. This is forward, and uh, I believe there 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 should be a, a, a neutral position in the middle, but I can't seem to find it. If I go really really slowly, a couple of times I was able to find it, but then it it starts to move and it kind of uh, relapses into uh, forward or or reverse. So the problem is when you when you start to dig a ditch you can do like six to eight feet at a time and then you have to uh, you have to pull forward a little bit so you pick up the you keep pick up pick up the the side legs the pegs pick them up like uh, six uh, seven inches from the ground and then this is how my neighbor explained it so you just you leave it in first gear put the shuttle in neutral and when you want to want to move forward you just pick up the legs and you just without that uh, because you know turning <coughs> turning from the back hole to the wheel and then putting into gear and it, it would take too much time so you leave it in first gear then you just dig and then you just uh, just uh, reach back with uh, with your hand and just tap it in forward and it's gonna it's gonna roll forward um, five six feet and then you bring it back into uh, neutral and you're gonna lower the legs again and start and start digging again so you don't you don't have to turn around you just uh, reach behind your back so i'm gonna have to look that up it might be you see that command block might not show on the camera it's a bit blurry but there's a command block here where the clutch and uh, and the power shuttle uh, connects to the torque converter this is all hydraulic so I, I think there there's uh, there are some worn out uh, o-rings uh, or seals in there I'm gonna have to research it online and see if I have to replace those <sighs> all right the Sun is going down it's about 730 it's uh, March 17th or 18th somewhere around there yeah I'll leave the palm tree in there all the pines and oaks and palms all I don't have too much I have like five pine trees and three palms and a couple of hardwood over there not oak maybe mahogany or something so uh, yeah but I'm really happy about uh, about the whole yeah, I can finally start digging. There's a lot of digging I have to do here, but little by little. Alright, my friends, I'm off. Have a good night.